in different parts of the world, water is taken for granted. But in this particular region, in Karamoja, a mere drop of water counts. In 2017, a team of Innovation Africa from Israel and the rest of our team in Uganda had a launch of a project. But on our way, we came across a village called Akuyam. When we reached the village, we didn't expect what we were about to see. That three days, some of them have not had food. Like there is no water at all? No water at all. So what do they eat? Ask them what do they eat? They climb those trees there and get soft leaves. They, they eat the leaves of the trees right now? Yeah. Because of anger, she tied her stomach? Yeah. This is unbelievable, <laughs> child. It's not human. I've never seen anything like it. Children were crying from hunger, from sickness. People were eating leaves from trees to survive. We saw skinny children, skinny people. We found people were really dying. Get us corn, get us beans. Is that okay? And find out where is the water. The water these people go for is very far away from the village. And this water is shared by domestic and even wild animals. It is that water is contaminated. It is mud. Please tell them that we're going to come back. But we're going to come back to pump water. And I was panicked because only then I understood that even if we bring the drilling machine today, it will not help them. It takes three months to grow food. So in order for them to stay alive, we had to act fast. For the first time, we had to bring a truck with 10 tons of maize and beans just so we can keep them alive. Immediately after, my team and I came with drilling machines, with solar panels, with a water tank, and immediately we started drilling. It was so simple to find the water. It was only 40 meters deep, and with only a few solar panels, we were able to pump the water. And today, when I came back to the village and when I saw the faces of the same people, I couldn't believe it. We saw them smiling. We saw them healthy. We saw them growing food. We installed the drip irrigation that we brought from Israel. It's a different life. It's a different village. It's very amazing to see that uh, apart from drinking, washing their clothes, growing vegetables around taps, we have also realized that uh, people no longer die from typhoid, they no longer die from bilazia, they no longer die with diseases associated with water. With the help of the Israeli technology, change can be done here in Karamoja. Innovation Africa was founded with a very simple mission to bring Israeli solar and water technologies to transform schools, medical centers, and most importantly, to pump water. And we will continue to bring water where there is drought, to bring light where there is darkness, to bring hope and dignity where there is despair. 
Thank you very much.